Hi, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for the month of March. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Gemini, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Page of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So your challenge here, Gemini, is the Page of Swords. I'm really strongly getting you're trying to get information on something. It's like you want truth, you want clarity. Um, you may be, you know, watching a lot of tarot readings to get truth and clarity on a situation. You could even be watching somebody, like seeing what their next move is going to be here. And it may be challenging for you to really come to some sort of conclusion in terms of what this information means to you moving forward. We're going to clarify the Page of swords and find out more information about your challenge in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the nine of pentacles, the six of wands and the hangman. I'm seeing that a lot of you started to feel in the recent past, this really positive energy of being on your own. Like some of you recently in the recent past decided to be single, maybe go off and be on your own. And you may have really uh, obtained a lot of success here in the past for something here that you achieved. And I'm getting for many of you, um, this all happened because somebody here was not taking action towards you. There was a lack of movement here uh, within a relationship. So because there was a lack of movement in a relationship uh, in the recent past, it really led you to start searching more about who you were, how to become the best version of yourself. And that really led to some sort of success. So something here was a blessing in disguise. It's like even though one thing wasn't really working out for you, another area of your life may have been working out. Okay, we're going to clarify and get more information on that in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the ace of wands the three of swords and the star someone here in the present moment is still hurt okay and i feel like this is you you're still reminiscing or battling some sort of trauma or pain that you have been really trying to get over um, which is showing me in the present moment that you're still healing you're still going through that process of needing or wanting to heal i'm also getting for many of you with the ace of wands here there is a desire to have maybe a new beginning with a specific person there may be a new beginning on the horizon for you we're going to find out more when we clarify in a moment in the near future you have the seven of wands the two of pentacles and the emperor so it looks like in the near future for many of you there is a decision here that you're going to have to make and the decision that you may need to make is whether or not you are going to open yourself up to maybe um, cooperating with someone or, you know, spending time with someone here, which ultimately may lead to some sort of stability. Okay. But you are going to have to decide if you want to maybe give somebody here a second chance. And this is why the Ace of Pentacles is here in reverse. Okay. Because a, an opportunity here that you may have thought was going to happen may not happen based on what you choose to do. So what you don't see coming is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You have the Page of Cups the seven of pentacles the ten of wands in reverse the ace of cups in reverse and the high priestess in reverse okay so what you don't see coming um for many of you here is there was some sort of opportunity that you and this person were supposed to have but it didn't happen i feel like for many of you even though you may feel you know in the present moment that something's done and over it's not completely done and over because the ten of wands is here in reverse there's still some sort of issues within a connection or relationship that you're in but you don't necessarily see yourself having a new beginning with this person because there's been a very strong disconnect between you and them i do feel at some point this person may communicate with you or talk to you and the reason why that may be is because you and this person still have some sort of unfinished business like you have either joint finances maybe there's some sort of resources that you and this person still have together that's keeping you bonded okay um so i do see what you don't see coming is i do see an apology or an attempt here to try to work things out with you with the page of cups but because you've already somewhat made a decision about this person from the past water sign cancer scorpio pisces maybe a leo here i'm getting an aries sagittarius maybe another gemini or aquarius um you know you may need to still decide how you are planning on proceeding moving forward with this person with or without this person okay so let's get into your reading and let's see what is going on for you all 
right, let's clarify your challenge. Okay, so your challenge, the Page of Swords, is clarified by the Justice, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so your biggest challenge here, Gemini, is to determine whether or not something is over. Is it done or are you still going to work through this with this person? Something here wasn't really set right between you and this person and that's why something here was um, brought to an end. I feel like there was a lack of fairness within this connection and a lot of you are still in this place of trying to determine if this is something that you should completely let go of or you should you know, still entertain. And that's your biggest challenge, right? Because you don't want to do something here without thinking about it, without finding all the necessary details and information before making a decision on this situation. So your challenge challenge here is is to determine if you are going to be quick to resolve something here and work things out with someone or completely end it all together now let's talk about the recent past let's clarify the nine of pentacles So the nine of pentacles is clarified by the judgment. You have the eight of cups and the eight of swords. So I'm seeing here in the recent past for many of you, there was um, somebody here walked away from you or somebody emotionally disconnected from you. And it left you in this place of feeling very, very low, alone, depressed, sad, isolated. But there's one thing that you did seek within yourself, Gemini. Very strong message here for you. You were starting to recognize who you are in the past, who you are, okay? You don't need to be in a relationship to feel comfortable with yourself or to feel good in the eyes of other people. And I think a lot of you started to recognize, you know, I need to learn to stand on my own two feet. I need to learn how to be self-sufficient. I need to learn how to do me. And a lot of you did that. And you know what your reward was? Your reward was the six of, pen uh, six of wands. Something successful happened here for you in the past. Tell me more about the hangman in the recent past for you. For Gemini. So the hangman was clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Moon. Somebody here promised you that they were going to marry you. Someone here promised you that you'd be happily ever after together, but I don't feel like it really happened because this person, you know, I'm really getting a lazy vibe here. Some of you are dealing with somebody here who either lacked taking action, lacked clarity, lacked truth. They um, also may have been somebody here that you felt was always constantly hiding things from you, not really being honest or not really clear. So I just feel like something here stagnated in the past. And instead of waiting on this person to take action or for things to improve you kind of just went off and did your own thing here in the recent past so instead of getting depressed upset and angry at the fact that this person wasn't emotionally available to you you flipped it around and transmuted it in the past okay so good on you for doing that there was a very big lesson here that you learned now in the present moment i'm really strongly getting that you are still hurt you're still hurt over this situation you're still trying to overcome it um, we're going to find out more about what the important message is in regards to that. But I also want to talk about this new beginning because it looks like in the present moment, there is a possibility for you and this person to have some sort of new beginning. So let's clarify the three of swords. What's the important message here for Gemini in the present moment? So the three of swords is clarified by the king of pentacles. You have the five of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. So I'm really strongly getting for many of you in the present moment, there's something here about you still reminiscing about someone here who left. Okay. Someone here who left or disconnected from you. But what you also have to realize, you know, exactly what I said in the past, you had to go through some sort of um, depressive moments. Okay. Because that is what was elevating you. Something here elevated you in the past Gemini to, to help you become a bet, the better version of yourself. So I feel like in the present moment, someone wants something here to change. Okay. Um, I do some, see somebody here coming in earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus after maybe they left or maybe one person disconnected or you disconnected from someone, but there's an opportunity now for a new beginning. And I feel like this new beginning could be with someone who's completely new. Okay, we're going to find out. Tell me more about this new beginning that's happening for Gemini in the present moment. So 
So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Strength, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So for many of you right now, I feel like this person who is coming back around, um, I don't feel like this has happened yet, even though this is the present moment. I feel like this is gradually going to happen. I'm getting a gradual uh, energy here because the few, the stars here, which is, you know, a signifier of the future. That's why I'm saying I don't feel like it's happening right now. Um, that's why it may not really resonate with you in terms of what I'm about to say, but I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who is trying to change. They're trying to become a better version of who they are. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody here who they have potential, but they may not really be taking action towards their potential like they did in the past. So I feel like in the present moment, whoever this person is could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting an Aries, maybe a Leo or a um, Taurus. Taurus Virgo. I feel like this person wants to work through the confusing situation with you. There's been so much confusion. There's been a lot of uncertainty. Somebody here has been keeping their options open, or it seems as if this person is keeping their options open, but there's something here about this connection still hanging by a thread. There's still an ability here to maybe work things out, especially if there is some sort of conversation or discussion about what needs to heal in the connection and what plans you and this person have in the future. Tell me more about the star in the present moment for Gemini in love. You have the star that came popping out. Twice. So this is definitely about the future in the present moment, needing to focus on the future and talk to one another about the future. So the star is clarified by the nine of wands. You have the two of swords and the page of pentacles. I feel like this person in the present moment, this is why I said there's a transition that's happening because you have the page of pentacles here and then you have the king of pentacles, you see. So this person's trying to make an effort. They're trying to show you, look, I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to change. And this is why your challenge is a page of swords, because as much as you may feel like, well, hey, maybe it's time for us to break up. Maybe it's time for us to end things. Maybe it's time, you know, for us to set things right. There's still a lot of confusion in terms of what you need to do. And that's why, Gemini, you come across as being closed off you come across as being closed off in the present moment because you're afraid that whatever happened in the past is going to happen again. And you don't want that to happen again. Okay. So in the present moment, there is a lot of patience that need that needs to be had here. And some of you are not patient because the Knight of Swords is here in your challenge. It's like you want to rush and you want to move forward. You're like, Hey, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I need to know what's going to happen. Um, but the reality here is, is that a true connection takes time to really cooperate and work through the confusing situation. And this person you're dealing with is someone who kind of still needs to grow up or they still kind of need to evolve within themselves. And that's something that, um, you know, they may do, but you may disconnect or they may disconnect in order to do that. Cause you, you have to understand whatever connection you're in right now, you both are still individuals. And that's what a lot of people forget when they get into love relationships is that, you could still be in love with somebody, but they still have to do the inner work. And so do you. That's the whole point of us being here on the earth plane. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing happening for you in the present moment. Now let's talk about the near future. Cause in the near future, there's a decision that has to be made a big, big decision that has to be made. We're going to talk about that decision that you need to make in a moment. But first I want to clarify the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here in the near future for Gemini? So the seven of wands is clarified by the temperance. You have the five of wands and the seven of wands. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting that there is going to be some sort of conflict. There is going to be some sort of confrontation, but how you deal with this confrontation is going to determine what type of decision you choose to make in the near future. So even though you're in this place, Gemini, where you're like, I want answers, I want information. And you be, you may be watching tarot reader reading after tarot reading, but the truth is, is that when you decide to make this decision, it's not going to be so much based on information that you collect and gather. It's rather going to be on how you respond to some sort of conflict that shows up in the near future. Cause there will be, there will be a challenge. There will be a test. And it always comes up like that for love relationships. No relationships. Perfect. There's relationships where you are, are going to find challenges and issues and how you deal with that is how things are possibly going to be moving forward for you. So I'm really strongly getting that when this conflict does arise in the near future, by you being patient and understanding, and instead of just being, you know, in this place of pushing this person away, 
allow this conflict to happen because this is something that needs to happen it's something that needs to take place in order for you and this person to determine if this is something you both even want and what i actually see here is is that if you both are able to overcome the conflict it can really lead to a lot of stability okay but there is a test here in the near future tell me more about this decision that gemini has to make or need, should make in the near future you don't need to do anything but there looks like there's a decision here So the two of pentacles is clarified by the queen of swords. You have the page of wands and the nine of cups. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting um, for many of you, there is going to be a brand new beginning, or you may decide to talk to this person about having a new beginning um, because you have to decide here. And in order for you to decide, I don't feel like you just want to make a random decision here, Gemini, without really thinking. And this is why even though a conflict arises, it kind of gets you into this mode, right? It gets you into this gear of being like, oh, maybe I have to talk about what it's going to take to have a new beginning with this person what is it going to take for me to be happy because there's something here about you lately not being happy or satisfied and in the near future you're like okay enough is enough I want happiness I want to be satisfied I don't want to be in this place of constantly feeling like I'm not happy and satisfied so you let it be known in the near future what it is that you want and I think one of the things that you're going to be focusing on is wanting that stability and this is again a part of your growth because now you're becoming very mature. You're coming into this place of saying, wow, I know what I want. I know I want stability. I'm gonna voice my opinion and voice what it is that I want. And guess what that leads to? It leads to the stability that you're seeking. But it has to start with a conflict because if we don't know that there's a problem which ultimately results from a conflict, then how are we supposed to find a solution? Okay, so this is what I'm seeing in the near future. Now, let's get some advice for you. Interesting reading. What is the advice? Okay, so you have, wow. All right, so you have the seven of pentacles in reverse, the page of cups in reverse, and the two of cups. In order for you to really find a solution when it comes to this relationship, because it is about a relationship, um, in order for you to find a solution here, you need to determine what needs to be forgiven and what needs to be healed, okay? Instead of throwing this connection away, because for many of you, that's where you're at right now. You're like, should I just throw this connection away? Should I just throw this relationship away? Not necessarily. What a lot of you are learning right now and what your partner is learning is, is that there's a need to forgive one another. There's a need to recognize what needs patience and understanding. The Page of Cups is patience and understanding. It's it's very innocent energy, okay? And it's no longer in your relationship anymore. So there's a lack of understanding. There's a lack of forgiveness here. And what that's leading to is it's leading to you um, losing opportunities within this connection that has really brought you and this person together. So in order to heal the connection, you need to ask yourself, what what point in time in this relationship do I need to be forgiving, healing, and understanding so that I don't miss out on an opportunity with this person so that, the, you know, we can both be together and have the successful relationship that we want, okay? So Gemini, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.